right, guys, let's talk about glassware. All right, glassware is something you're gonna need at your bar, unless you're doing all red solo cups, which I, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I guess as long as you're not doing stuff that really belongs in glassware, um, you should be fine. Now, not all of this glassware is necessary, obviously. A lot of it's optional. Um, I'm sure you could do a whole bar where all you have are rocks glasses, pint glasses, and shots. Those are the three that you really need. Uh, everything else is pretty much pretty optional. All right. So shot glasses. Let's talk about them first. Uh, obviously, you can go into uh, Hot Topic or Spencer's or any of those weird, you know, stores, and even uh, liquor stores will sell shot glasses with their brand name on it. Uh, shot glasses come in sizes of one ounce, 1.5 ounce, and two ounce usually. Um, and so you can get all those different sizes available to you. I'm sure they make them in bigger ones, but why bother? All right, next up we have rocks glasses. Now rocks glasses, this is a really cool one. I got this at Pier 1 Import. It has this rainbow bottom to it, real trippy. Um, and the Collins glass also has that rainbow bottom. Not as prominent in the red department, but it's pretty nice. Um, now rocks glasses and Collins glasses are uh, pretty similar in the fact that they hold 10 to 12 ounces um, and that's and that's it you know you have uh, just a difference difference in size and stature and depending on the drink you're making um, and how you want to layer it or uh, structure it uh, is what kind of glass you're going to choose um, most whiskey drinkers know that a rocks glass is their choice because you have more room to breathe it has a wider wider opening at the top there for air to come in so you're able to have that breathe more you don't want to put whiskey in a collins glass and drink it out of there if you're just drinking whiskey straight all right because then it's, it, it's taking too long to get to your mouth and all this kind of stuff it's a waste of uh, air right um so a lot of your uh, collins glasses you have drinks that are called tom collins you know um john collins all these things those are belong in collins glasses um also things like mojitos and some other um, light drinks belong in Collins glasses, all right? Um, once you move up to uh, the pint and Pilsner, you're looking at your beers, all right? Now, pints also are used for double drinks. So when you do like a double whatever cocktail, you're gonna put it in a pint glass most likely. Now, a lot of things I do in the bar are served just in pint glasses because, let's be honest, it's very easy just to buy pint glasses and utilize them. They're very easy to clean. Um, sodas go well on them so anything like a a double rum and coke even though a regular rum and coke would go in a collins glass your double rum and coke would go in a pint glass because you're putting a little bit more um once again rocks glass and collins glass usually hold 10 to 12 ounces your pint glass is 16 ounces um it's very standard all right your pilsner is just beer though your pilsner is just beer unless you're doing some type of rum bucket in a glass which i think is just well, that could be decadent if you really want it to be. But uh, your Pilsners are really just for beer, which is why you have beers that are called Pilsners. And then you have your three specialty glasses. Now these over here are uh, are my versions of the specialty glasses. We have a Hurricane glass over here on your... Oh, I think you're too close. This is our Pilsner. I'm sorry, no, this is Pilsner. This is a Hurricane glass. Um, and it because it kind of looks like a, you know the way the hurricane forms uh, the, the the tornado spirals that come down. Um, a lot of your tropical drinks will go in a hurricane glass. All right, we have our traditional martini um, margarita glass, and you have your goblets. Okay, you know goblets are usually used for sangria, okay, or wine. All right. Now the one glass obviously you see that we are missing here is our martini glass and that's because i i'm not a fan of martini glasses i really am not when i do use a martini glass it's for two things one an actual martini or a manhattan and the martini glasses i have are not glasses let me show you they are metal i have metal martini glasses because when i drink a manhattan which i do occasionally um, metal, having that metal um, feel, not only helps keep the drink chilled, because right, I chill these, but it also helps enrich the taste of whatever whiskey I decide to use. The metal brings that out. So I, 
if you're really gonna, if you're a Manhattan drinker or whatnot, try and get your hands on some of these. Um, they were pretty cheap. I got them on Marshalls, I think. One time I saw them on, on sale there. That was kind of a good find for me. But these are really cool. Um, and that's that's it for glassware. Glassware is pretty pretty simple. Um, obviously, you know, if you're running you know a party and whatnot, you want to get some disposables um, just for the sake of you know, time for cleanup afterwards. Um, so I would suggest getting some you know plastic shot glasses, some uh, red solo cups, and even some plasticware that you can even wash really quickly. But you know, just so people aren't breaking stuff all over the place. All right. So that's it for glassware, guys. So remember, the three that you really need are shots, shot glasses, you know, even disposable ones are fine. But shot glasses, rocks glasses, and pine glasses. Remember, pine glasses is very similar to your red solo cup. That's it for glassware. Until next time, guys. Farm Magic 365. My name is Ross. See ya.